Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you a nice magic bullet looks color correction. So this should be the final color correction. Um, I will put the download link for this in the description and if you don't know how to install it then uh, I will make another tutorial for that. So yeah. Let me just close this. So um yeah, when you have your clip, first of all you should add an adjustment layer. You don't have to, you can add it to your clip too, but I will do this with an adjustment layer. So yeah, then go to effects, uh, magic bullet looks, looks. Then go to edit, and um, yeah, I will just go through this in case if you can install the color correction, you can just copy these settings, but I won't explain every effect and what it does, but I can make another tutorial for that, maybe if you don't know what the curves do and what you can do with them, then I will make another tutorial for maybe some of the main effects. So yeah. First of all, um, you go to the right, there are the there are a few different layers. Oh, I don't really know what it is. Um, on the first one, on subject, you go to curves. Then you, on the bottom one, you drag this down a bit. And you drag the top one uh, up a bit, not the very top one, the one below that. Then you go to your blue channel, and uh, on the bottom one, you drag it up a bit, and on the other one, you drag it up too. Then on the red channel, you drag this up, and on the green channel, you drag this up. So then you go to uh, lift gamma gain, then you drag this to about, um, let's say here, this to about here, and this to maybe. So the gain one a bit green or yellow, and the gamma more blue and the lift more red. Then you go to uh, mat, go to light flex, and change the boost to minus six. Um, then you can go to diffusion. You don't have to do that. Make this yeah orange or red. Change the size to five, and the grade to maybe two. And then you can play around with the with the highlight settings and with the size or whatever you want to. Um, then you go to um, lens, go to vignette, double click on that, then drag this out a bit, and then turn up the strength. Then go to edge softness. You don't have to do this, but I prefer it. So on the outer ring, you drag it up. Then you drag this ring up and drag the whole thing down so that the five uh, plus five is blurred in the top part. Then you go to the blur size and change it to two and the quality to seven or eight. You can can play around with these settings too. Maybe change it to uh, change the blur size to one or the quality to seven or yeah whatever you want. Then you go to uh, an amorphic flare. You don't have to do this if you think it's overused, but in this case, I will make it, yeah, orange or red, and I will change the size to maybe 80, and the threshold to uh, one, and then um, I think that's even too much. Maybe yeah, the uh, threshold to 1.12 and the size to 70. I think that's okay. Then on camera, you don't have to do anything. So you go to post and then go to uh, lift gamma gain again and make yeah make about the same settings as on the subject one. This will add some more saturation. So, um, yeah, if you don't have enough contrast in your clip, you can go to the first curves thing, then go to RGB and drag this down a bit and this up a bit. Then click OK, and that's basically the color correction. Um, yeah, I have some high contrast here because if you copy the settings, uh, this clip is from a, a Pro Mod lobby, so, yeah, and with a config, so 
on Xbox this might look a bit different and you should add some more contrast. So another thing you can add, um, I did that in another color correction tutorial, is um, yeah, add the like a glow to the top. So go to F4 and if you didn't watch the other tu uh, tutorial then check that out. Or <coughs> otherwise you can go to your color correction and go to edit. And I think it's on uh, camera. Yeah, or whatever you want to. Actually you can do it even on subject or whatever. And then go to gradient exposure and drag this stop uh, stops to maybe null point six or something. And then it will be more bright in the sky. So yeah, that's basically a nice color correction. Um yeah, please like the video and if you want some more color corrections or if you want a tutorial on how to install the color corrections so that you don't have to copy all these settings, um, then just write it in the comments and I will make a tutorial. Yeah. So that's basically it. Like the video and